Revolution was on World War II, which spanned from September 1st, 1939 to September 2nd, 1945. So these are basically like the major figures that were in World War II. So to start, the one on the far left is Hitler. Um, he was the major leader of Germany, and he was elected in 1933. He transferred Germ transformed Germany into a fascist state. The one next to him, to the right of him, is Stalin. Stalin was the leader and dictator of the Soviet Union. He played a crucial role in defeating Hitler's Germany. The one next to Stalin, to the right, is Benito Mussolini. Mussolini was the prime minister in Italy in 1935, and he was the close ally of Hitler and also a fascist dictator. The one next to uh, Mussolini is General Hideki Tohoto. Um, General Tohoto was the Prime Minister of Japan. He was the one who called the attack on Pearl Harbor and um, he resigned his role as Prime Minister when he realized that Japan was going to lose the war. Um, the one on the bottom left is Franklin D. Roosevelt. Roosevelt was the President of the United States during most of World War II and the leader through the Great Depression for the U.S. He's also known as the most influential president of all time. The one next to him is Harriet Truman. Harriet Truman was the vice president of the U.S. when Pearl Harbor was attacked and shortly after Roosevelt's death he stepped up as president and he was president for like the end of the war. The one next to him the last one is Winston Churchill, who was the Prime Minister of the UK and known as the most important leader in modern British and world history. He was a well-known orator, strategist, and politician. The origins of World War II. Uh, so I'll start back in World War I with the Treaty of Versailles because the unresolved issues of World War I meaning like the Treaty of Versailles was unfair kind of toward Germans and they resented the terms of it and it was right before Hitler's rise to power so all those issues were exploited and Hitler tried to bring the country up from their little depression that happened at that time. One of the main issues of, the, of both world wars were that there were both sort of German versus Russia, Germany versus Russia. Um, in the Second World War, it was Nazism versus Communism, and Aryan versus Slav for race. Um, many other countries were involved. The central theme was Russo German. The result of World War One was unsatisfactory for both countries, Russia the revolution, political withdrawal from, from conflict, and then Germany's defeat, internal politi political turmoil, and stop short of, of a revolution. And it's like they ended up having a rematch for, in World War II. Uh, the failure of the League of Nations as an organization, which principally happened over an aggressive Italian imperialism in Ethiopia in the mid-1930s, and also during the Spanish Civil War later in the decade. Because it failed to act in both cases, um, Italy, Germany, Russia, and Japan thought that they could pretty much do whatever they wanted around the world. And that's when um, Hitler thought he could start invading Poland. Okay, so basically before the war even started, Hitler was elected the Chancellor of Germany in 1933. Um, the whole World War II was basically centered around Hitler. Um, he was an effective leader in Nazi Germany. So to basically, to basically begin World War II in 1937, Japan launched its sacred Sino-Japanese War. The brutal and incredibly armed Japanese seized most of the control of eastern China and all its important ports before the war broke up in Europe. Hitler became aware of what the Japanese did in seizing control of China, and he announced that he fully supported of it. 
and this action basically motivated Hitler to doing the same things in hopes of controlling all, if not most, of Europe. So Mussolini, the Italian leader, decided that he was going to join forces with Hitler in the case of like a war broke out, so he'd have Hitler on his side. Um, Hitler also joined forces with Stalin, the leader of the Soviet Union, and they both signed a treaty called the Nazi-Soviet Pact, which agreed that the Soviets were free to strengthen their western frontier, and Hitler was able to attack Poland. So, after Hitler and Stalin signed the agreement, Hitler immediately began to attack <coughs> Poland. Hitler, Hitler's air force dropped bombs on the Polish cities, which basically began the Holocaust. The Holocaust was a genocide in which millions of were killed by the Nazi regime. Mussolini of Italy decided to attack France in order to safeguard his power in helping his ally Hitler. It wasn't a wise choice for him though because he, his army suffered a lot more deaths than the France did and this eventually weakened Mussolini's army. After attacking Poland, Hitler became power hungry and basically decided that he wanted to disregard the agreement that he had with Stalin and he attacked the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union became close allies with the US and the UK after the attack by Hitler and they shared like a common goal of defeating Hitler. In Japan, the Japanese became nervous that the US had a Pacific fleet which they could use to foil their plans of sweeping the East Indies and Philippines. So they, on December 7, 1941, the Japanese surprise attacked the Pacific fleet of Pearl Harbor by bombing in the sky. At the end of the war, Italy surrendered to the to the Allies, and Mussolini was arrested. In the U.S., President Roosevelt died, and Truman was the vice president, so he was the next president. Um, when that happened, Truman was able to start calling the shots. And after Hitler committed suicide and the Germans surrendered, then the main focus was getting Japan to surrender. So they dropped the, well Truman called for an atomic bomb to drop on Hiroshima. And when the Japanese didn't surrender then, he ordered a second bomb to be dropped on Nagasaki. And on September 2nd, 1945, Japan surrendered after both bombs were dropped. And then the war was basically over after that. The impact of the war was um, economically, 17 million new jobs got were created and unemployment was basically wiped out. All the um, all the jobs got open because the war required a lot of people, and when the men were had to go off to battle, the women were allowed to take those jobs and offered women a chance to start working. And basically, through uh, these three pictures, just like women's rights, kind of just like women can work in the what uh, they can work in the field and do what the guys always do. This is like a poser, just, we want you for the army, and then this one's basically like, if we work together, we'll win the war, and we'll be the superpower of the world. And I like this poser.
and that's basically it.